That is it's very cool. So do that. Start being nice to each other, you goddamn freaks. It's the easiest thing in the world. Just like you say, oh, wear a mask. It's the easiest thing in the world. No, it's not. Second easiest thing in the world. Easiest thing in the world, be fucking nice to each other. That's it. Oh, Rand Slim. Slim. Rand Slim. Here we go. Find it? I did. Nice. Somewhere. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, so here you guys go. This We're going to end the show on this. This is a letter from Rand Slim of South Africa. Um, I think your mistake, sir may have been to use read for yourselves or think for yourselves, which are the cries of conspiracy theorists. I'm afraid of the virus, despite great odds of being unharmed. I see things that don't make sense. I'm in South Africa. We have one million cases and growing fast. That's the number that screws up the perspective. The people most concerned with symptoms, and only a fraction of them are given tests. The super fast spreading, super contagious virus has likely infected three or four times that number of people here. Millions and millions and millions of people. Last I checked, we had something under 30,000 deaths. (laughs) It's unlikely that there's hidden deaths. There's obviously fake cases. The rate of death should be, should go to uh, fuck all if there's fake cases. Right, okay. There's still a problem that the deaths are usually a small portion of a much bigger number of people overwhelming hospital resources. Uh, If the virus gets out of control there as it is here, it's not a lie. It will overwhelm hospitals. It has done so here. Not all hospitals, but in hotspots. We're not being lied to about that. The virus spreads so fast, um, it applies to the potential of overwhelming hospitals there too. But that's not something people like to talk about. Non-COVID urgent care is not suffering. That's not how it works. Doctors and nurses are exhausted. Um, There's likely a drop in standards. But COVID is not taking away beds from other wards. Because the doctors have to be quarantined. So they've got certain doctors in the COVID board that are quarantined with them. And they don't come out. So other doctors are still doing all their jobs. Um, COVID patients can only be treated in that one area. So they're not overwhelming the hospital. They're in one fucking area by themselves. Um, the question is, how does overwhelmed hospitals and 30,000 deaths impact a country to justify the halt of freedoms and livelihoods? I don't know. I I suspect something isn't right about this strategy. The damage to the economy, morale, and the cost of relief is surely more than building several stadium-sized treatment centers like they did in China. Um, I don't know. I'm not a doctor or an economist, but there must be a middle road. You are right. Many are right. Things don't add up or feel right. But we have to obey out of respect for each other and because we're not the ones elected to make the decisions. Well, that's your fault, not mine. We can spend our lives dedicated to science and be heard and deemed credible. We can spend our lives in politics and help with these decisions. Anything else, we just discuss on Facebook and argue about it. I That's very cool. You're right. I am trying to get involved in politics, and thank you for that. Um, so, yeah, I tried. And no, I, I did very well. And then I got very sick with another virus. <laughs> Not COVID related. But yeah, so there he says, even in his country where millions of people are getting this thing, at least a million people have it. 30,000 dead, maybe. So 1.1 1. 1 million people have, have, have reported cases and 29,577 have reported deaths. Yeah. And he says that January. the number, nobody's being tested there. So the number is probably closer to three or four million that have it. And that's still, one one. even if you have 3 million, you're still looking at only less than 30,000 deaths out of 3 million people. That's still Exactly, a that's what he's saying. He's saying that they yeah. don't add up. And um, there's one other thing to keep in mind. Um, the most single deaths in a day was July 22nd with 572 deaths in a single day. And was that in uh, China? No, that's in South Africa. Oh, and so that July 22nd. July 22nd. That's six months ago. Who cares? That's right. When the closest they've had was December 29th, they had 497. 
So still not, you're still almost a hundred deaths of a single day away from being their worst day they've ever had. And they're on a bit of a, they're on a downslope from that number as we speak. So, yeah. So no, it's not that bad there. Sorry. A lot of people might have it. Not that many are fucking dying from it. So considering how many people fucking probably die from that country on a daily basis as it is normally. I don't think you're worrying too much about it. Um, someone's challenging you. Uh, anyway, kids, until tomorrow night. Are we doing this tomorrow night? I believe so. Awesome. We are doing this tomorrow night, and it's going to be fun, crazy facts all through history, because that's the point of the show now, unless there's something cool. We'll talk about the Nashville bombing a little bit more, because I totally forgot that even happened. Um, <laughs> Along with everybody else. Uh, we will talk about some really fun stuff. This is a good episode. I had fun. I want to keep it up for the week. Love you guys. Till tomorrow night, take care of each other. See ya, fuck nuts. Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you. Please be advised that this podcast is meant for educational and informational purposes only and is in no way a replacement for legal or medical advice. The opinions contained within are solely those of the interviewers and interviewees and should be received as so. Those seeking help or advice are encouraged to obtain professional legal and medical services.